Every city you go to, there's those bars with dollar bills all over the walls, all over the ceilings, everywhere you can think of. And that's exactly what we look like. We call them love notes because people from all over the world come and leave their little mark on the wall and they come back year after year to see it. So it's, it's definitely a big part of our bar. I'm Jennifer Knox. I own the Sand Bar on Tybee Island, Georgia. It's um, a very community-friendly little bar. We try to get involved in community stuff, do fundraisers. We have really neat things like bar church and sign language classes there. When we heard that we were going to be closing, I just felt this urgency to figure out a way to continue to pay my people and help other people on the island. We, uh, we locked our doors and as most great things start, it started with a group of friends drinking and we looked around and we're like, oh my God, like there's money on the walls, time on our hands. We literally just felt this sense of urgency to get the dollars down and into the hands of the people that need it. And it took us five people, three and a half days, pretty much around the clock to get those dollars down. Most of the dollars were up there with a staple gun that was like way too massive for that type of task. Every dollar had like 12 staples in it and it was a process to get those dollars down, keep them intact, get them cleaned, and then get them counted. We were able to immediately drive around and give our people, four bartenders and two musicians, $600 each. It, was a game changer for these people. Crying, we're crying. It was a lot of love. And um, I know that there's a lot of sad and scary things going on right now, but it gave people a sense of hope that, you know, okay, we're gonna get through this. It's not just the sandbar, it's all the bars here and all the bars everywhere. And all the people on the front lines, we are all in this together.